to show you guys. Okay, don't laugh at me. Social media has become the center of society, giving us the ability to write, share, post, and photograph whatever we desire. People can now connect socially with others from around the globe that otherwise wouldn't be a possibility. However, in a world full of people, it's hard to please everyone. And with these four networks leading the way, we now have the power to add our voice with one single click. Which begs the question, are we now sharing too much? During and after one of the most controversial presidential elections of our history, people turn to the web to voice his or her opinion. In turn, friends or followers now pick whether to agree or disagree based on personal values. And we find our opinion leaders who think the way we think or who we decide that they, they're thinking pretty much what I'm thinking, so I'm just going to listen to them and share their information mm -hmm. because they can articulate it better than I can. According to Rasmussen reports, 40% of likely U.S. voters feel the election had hurt a close relationship. It doesn't stop there. Employees are now being terminated due to his or her posts. According to CareerBuilder, 18% of employers say they've fired employees because of their use on social media. That gratification they're getting from social media is leading them to do more and more on social media, and so I think that's probably why people are oversharing uh, now more than they used to be. So, how do we draw a line in a world that is as translucent as ever? You also have to realize that your perspective, your understanding of life, is not the only perspective that's out there. To help users stay out of that danger zone, it might be as simple as detaching. Dr. Nichols adds that, quote, we need to put our phone down and go on a walk. We have to disconnect. We can't hyper-focus on things. So, no matter who uses what or what each user decides to selectively focus on, one thing is true. Social media is not going away, and it seems that a balance needs to be acknowledged to create a universal social law that everyone can agree upon. For O-State TV, I'm Tyler Segerman.